You obtained your statements with the Bracken Irons. Does the Queen presume to call me a liar? With greater justification than you call me whore. My laws, why do we tolerate such disrespect? I have here a hundred pages of confession that show the Queen has committed fornication, high treason, and matters of a sexual nature so offensive to God! Well, then, can we not read these statements? And where are these witnesses? Are they not present so we can hear them for ourselves? They're condemned. We will not insult His Majesty by admitting their evidence in his court. Why not? You insult him far more with a perversion of justice that is happening here in his name. I hardly think this Queen is qualified to speak of perversion. <laughs> <laughs> Silence. My noble lords, if what I fear is true, namely that you have condemned me already, well then my testimony is of no value. But allow me, for the sake of the record and my conscience, to say this. The love I have for my brother is the love any sister would have for someone with whom she's grown up, nursed when sick, played games with as a child. I mean, that is the love I have for him. As for these other gentlemen, I have no more been their lover than, than I would lie on my own daughter's life. I admit that I have not always borne towards the king the humility that is fitting. I admit that I have been jealous. And I admit that I failed to provide him with a son. But it's God is my witness. I have not betrayed him in any other way. That is my word. You must put it to your consciences. My lords, the time has come to cast your votes. Guilty. 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 In which case, the burden falls on me to pass sentence. And Queen of England, you have been found guilty of treason by this court. It is therefore my duty to sentence you to be burned or beheaded at the King's pleasure. Agreeing to an annulment, she said, would make her daughter a bastard, something she could never live with anyway. Is she innocent? I don't know. You took her confession, man. Indeed. She must want to save her soul, surely. What did she say? My lord, I could never disclose. I asked you a question. Let us say, she made no mention. She did not feel the need to confess. I can hear a crowd. They come to see me die. 
Yes, ma'am. And the king? Where is he? I heard he has gone hunting. Hunting? Oh. Well, that's a fine day for it. Hmm. Cranmer told me they sent to France for a special swordsman. Apparently, I will feel nothing. I must not forget to reward him generously. It's time. The king will burn in hell for this. You must speak out against him from the scaffold. You could turn the crowd. And the king is only doing his duty. I forgive him. So must you. Master Kingston. Christian people, I come here to die according to law. And will speak nothing against it. I beseech you all to pray for the king, our sovereign lord, the best prince on the face of the earth. Thus, I take my leave of the world. Beg you all to pray for me. Ayez de la pitié pour moi, Votre Majesté. Soyez rassurés. Je pardonne. Merci. Forgive me, Mary. If I was ever angry with you, I spoke with a sharp tongue. God help me.
Bless this bed and those that lie in it, and let it yield the sun that England desires. In nomine Patri et Filio et Spiritus Sancto. You don't think this wedding came too soon, Cromwell? That we... we should have waited? No, once the late Queen's guilt was established, it was the best thing you could do. Her guilt? You managed to say the word without blushing. It was proven by two courts, Your Grace. It was ruled by two courts. There was never any proof. Especially on the charge of incest, that was always too much. She divided your country. And you don't. The dissolution of the monasteries will refill the treasury. And the violence committed in my name? Fully justified, Your Grace. Is it? Then how come I can no longer sleep? Monastery at York is still burning tonight. Reports are reaching me from all over the country of monks burned alive, of priests, good men slaughtered, atrocities committed not by evil barbarians from some distant land, but by our king for his new church, a church he dared up. The Church of England. Well, I stand here a proud Englishman. And I'll tell you what the English Church is, and that is the Catholic Church. Yeah. The one the true Church of Rome. A church for which I don't know about you, but for which I am prepared to die. Yeah. against a king who is hell-bent on ruining this God-fearing land. What's the matter, my lord? Why don't you come back to bed? I would if I thought I could sleep. But I can't. I would just lie there thinking. Is there nothing I can do? Thank you, no. I have people whose job it is to help me. Yes, but which of them can you trust? Mm. <clears throat> You should surround yourself with people who have your best interests at heart. Like who? Your family. <sighs> Wife. <sighs> Daughters. My eldest daughter wishes me dead. That's not true. Mm. I've spent time with Mary and she is anxious to see you. Oh. Be careful, Jane. Those words were put in her mouth by the Spanish ambassador. That is a trap. You 
feel hot. Hmm? Hot. Promise me you will speak to your physician tomorrow. If you promise me you will make peace with the Lady Mary. Oh, Jane. If I could persuade her to come to court and agree to your conditions. She would never agree. She thinks I murdered her mother. But if I could persuade her. Well, if you could do that. If you could fill the treasury without spilling blood. If you could heal my riff with the Vatican, yet reform the Catholic Church. If you could strengthen my armies, yet guarantee peace. If you could do all of that, then perhaps you would make me happy. Bless you and protect you. May God bless you, Robert, and protect you. How many did you say? 20,000 and growing. Oh, good God. They're calling it the pilgrimage of grace. With the King's army in France, he's vulnerable. I must warn him. I'll give you a letter, make sure he gets it. He won't like it when he sees who it's from, but maybe it'll restore our friendship. Former lieutenant of mine and loyal soldier. What about him, Your Grace? Well, it appears that he is raising troops against me. What? In protest of the dissolution of the monasteries. Oh, now, the idea was to increase my popularity and put an end to papist corruption. Instead, my people raise armies against me. Then I suggest we send an army. What an army! They left you with 20,000 men! By the time they get to London, they'll be twice, maybe three times that amount! What have you done? Send a messenger. Tell him the king remembers him well and wishes to avoid any conflict with uh, an old comrade. And we would see him here in person. But your grace. Just do it, man. I'll take care of the rest. I tell you, that crumble lately does me more harm than good. There's something I have to tell you. I went to see my physician, as you said. When I told him the symptoms, he was concerned. What did he say? Well, he took my blood and measured my pulse. And? I do have a condition. But it is not the plague.
Thank you for agreeing to see me. The last thing I want is a former comrade taking up arms against me. Particularly when the odds are so against you. Hmm. Yes. Some wine? I've come to talk, not drink. Well, then talk. What are your demands? First, that you stop immediately. The slaughter of innocent priests and friars and your suppression of the monasteries. I will. And just as soon as they put to an end their corruption and decadence. They are innocent for the most part, as you well know. Be mindful of your tone. I am your king. Only as long as I allow you to live. <laughs> and stay on the throne. And your second demand? That you return all the money and valuables that you have stolen from the churches. I need to fill the treasury somehow. How can I protect a country if I don't have the money? Stop giving the existing wealth to corrupt nobles and be more judicious in your choice of wars. It's a fine day when a simple lieutenant lectures the king on foreign policy. And a still finer day when a simple lieutenant is in charge of 50,000 men. And your third demand? That you punish those responsible for these abominations. You do realize I could have you executed on the strength of what I've heard here alone? Yes. I also realize that you have no choice but to comply. If I do. If I do. Do I have your word you'll take your followers back to York and never step outside the city gates again? You have my word. Right. Then I agree to all three demands. Huh? No, my lord. My lord, no! <laughs> and, and you, Robert. <laughs> you cheeky son. I may call you Robert. Yes. But I'd like to invite you to stay at my palace for two or three days. Your Highness is most kind. Uh, now, we, we fought together at Tournai, if memory serves. 
Well, a few of us get together every year and uh, celebrate the victory. Uh, I'd like you to come. I really must be returning. No, no, it's an invitation from the king, Robert. You say yes. Yes. Excellent. Boxing of the ears I can cope with. The taunts and jests too, but to be humiliated like this and in front of Ask. It's just too much. Perhaps we've overdone it, Cramer. Perhaps we're moving too quickly. No, Master Secretary, have faith. We are quietly, steadily changing this country for the better. Throughout Europe, the word is spreading. In Germany, the Protestants already have the majority. I know, but sometimes I think I should leave the struggle to others and concentrate on giving the king what he wants. No, Thomas, you have your beliefs and your conscience, and what is a man without those? A life, my lord. A life. <laughs> Remember how they ran? Those French knights. They no more wanted to fight than have one single hair on their head disturbed. <laughs> then, Sir Francis here led his men round from the east. Now, I had no other choice. If I'd have ordered him to come round from the west, he would have never have seen the enemy. He'd have rode straight past them. <laughs> But the real turning point in the battle was, was dear Robert here, when he led his troops on a fearless dawn raid straight through the middle of the sleeping enemy with insane courage and ruthless determination, which I have had the misfortune to experience myself these last few days. But we're friends now, aren't we? We're friends. <laughs> friends! <laughs> sing! Someone sing! But I now go as not the reason why the soldiers are divisive and I live it till I die. So you stayed, Robert. So am I, my lord. I only wish my followers would have been here to see it. They'd have seen a king to be proud of. Good night. Good night, my lord. You sleep well. <laughs> you sleep well. Good news. The heart beats strong. The head is facing the right way. It's progressing well. And the agenda? I'm afraid there's no way of establishing that. Oh, she could eat salt. Some people believe it helps if you want a boy. You do want a boy. Yes. yes. Can you really imagine if it is a boy? Seymour, heir to the throne. We will be uncles to the future king. And if it isn't, her head will roll. No. No, her head will only roll if she continues with her mission to bring back his daughter Mary to court.
Your Grace. I believe you have something to say. I acknowledge you as Queen. And your unborn child as one true heir. Replacing me. And I pray for you both that it is a prince. And are you, Your Majesty? I recognize that it is entirely down to you. The king has accepted me back. For this I shall be forever in your debt. But what of the church? I have heard of uprisings in York, and I fear the king will retaliate. Quite the opposite. Master Ask spent Christmas with us. The king has agreed to his every demand. Turn after a month at court. Having secured our every demand, I think a hero's welcome is in order. I want him alive. Make sure you take him alive. the poor. God bless the one so Catholic, the Church of England. If he falls unconscious, make sure you wake him. I want his death to last a full three days. My good friend. Your Grace. <laughs> it's good to have you back. I need a lion like you by my side. It's where I belong, Your Highness. Mm. I pray you never send me away again. Oh, no. Come in. <laughs> the Queen, Your Grace. Is it true what I've heard? That Robert Ask has been murdered and hung from the gates of York? The man raised an army against me. He got what he deserved now, if you don't mind, man. But, Henry, you promised. Henry. Henry is a name reserved for the bedchamber. You said you would agree to his demands. I am the King of England. I don't agree to demand. And his followers and allies, what of them? They will be silenced too. Oh, is that it? You will just silence all the dissenters. To speak against the King is treason. Oh, my lord, don't do this. Don't hide behind words like King and treason. Don't forget you're a man of flesh and blood who will one day be judged as all men of flesh and blood are. Am I imagining this? I, am I now being lectured to by a woman? You are being cautioned by your wife. Conscience will not allow her to stand by and watch as the man she loves degenerates into a monster. Tell your conscience! You are my wife! What I want from you is sons, not opinions or meddling! Sons! Sons! Ah! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Quick! Hold the position! Ah! Oh, God! Oh, God.
My lord, I have news from the queen. And? You have a son. A healthy son. for the rest of your life. I will make you the most adored, most celebrated queen in history. Jane. Jane. Please believe us that the queen is tired. She must rest. Rest. There's too many people. No, it's too many people. She must rest. Jane. She has a fever, my lord, and is very weak. God. This night is important. If she survives... Save her! You understand? She is the Queen of England, the mother of my son. But you're suffering. I command you, don't go! Jay! Jay! And how is the prince? In perfect health. <coughs> then why does he cough? Because he swallowed his milk too mm. quickly. Or because he has an infection? He doesn't have an infection. Really? You can tell the difference between the two coughs? Yes, I can. Even if your life depended on it? Before I go, Your Grace, there is another matter. It has been two years since the late Queen died, and we still have not agreed on a replacement. I realize you have no desire to remarry, but I would be failing you if I did not urge you to consider it. Why? The young prince's health. Oh, what about it? His nurses are worried about the plague. Prince is fine. He has his father's constitution. The plague has no respect for constitution. And there would be less danger to the prince from other sources if he had brothers. I will not marry again. Besides, I am aware that you've been making inquiries to 
various princesses in Europe, and I was refused. Hmm? I have found one who is willing. Oh, some Protestant heretic, no doubt, to serve your own ends. She is a Protestant, I admit. Ah. The Duke of Cleves' daughter. Well, I'm not interested. No, great. Since your excommunication, France has allied with the Emperor. England needs the Germans. Hmm. So what's she like? Our ambassador has confirmed her appearance was most pleasing. Most pleasing. <laughs> most pleasing, Your Grace. And she's German. Uh, nice flaxen hair and, um, at least... Actually, Lady Anne is dark. Dark? But still a renowned beauty. Hmm. We'll send the court painter. But that will delay matters. Time is not on our side. I will not commit to someone without proof of beauty. I mean, in the name of God, I've got to sleep with her. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Your Grace. <laughs> um, send the painter Holbein, then. That's as far as I go. Hmm? <laughs>